computer. So this is a book called The Woolly Jumper, The Story of Wool by Meredith Hooper and Catherine McEwen. And this was Paloma's favorite book. She loved it so much. There's lots of rips in it. I don't know why she ripped it if she loved it so much, but she did. The Woolly Jumper. This is the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. This is the farmer that owned the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. He's driving a four wheel motorbike and there's his puppy dog in the back. This is the dog who mustered the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. This is the shearer who sheared the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. Shears. This is the shed hand who picked up the fleece so springy and soft that came from the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. This guy here. This is the classer who checked the length and tested the strength and graded the wool that came from the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. This is the presser who took the bale and pressed it full of the very best wool that came from the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. And then he took all of these stencils over here. So Mungo is the name of the farm. And then he used this black ink to colour it in so it would go onto the outside. So Mungo is the name of the farm. And A-A-A-M means M for Merino. And AAA means the best. It's the best wool that you can get. And the number of how many bales they are. This is the truck driver who drove the truck and loaded it up then carried the wool that came from the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. This is the buyer who looked at the wool and bought the best, leaving the rest that came from the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. And this is the mill that took the wool and scoured, which means they had to wash it, and carded, which means they had to get all the burrs and seeds and bits out, and combed it to make it all straight in a nice straight line. And then they twisted and spun and dyed it, winding it up in bright colored balls of the soft springy wool that came from the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. Red and yellow and blue and purple and green. Here she is. This is the auntie who went to the shop and bought the balls of the bright coloured wool that came from the sheep that stood in the field and ate the grass. And she knitted at breakfast and knitted at lunch and knitted in the bath. That's funny. And knitted in bed. And she knitted a warm woolly jumper. Oh, well, who's that in bed with her? Is that a pussy? Oh, it's a little teddy in bed with her. Cute. And here we have this little guy. And this is Jack wearing the jumper made of the wool that came from the sheep that ate more grass and grew more wool. And that's the end of our book.